detecting Worcestershire again. Uh, but today, guys, it's not exactly in association with detecting. It's actually, regardless, say something else, uh, slightly different, but in a similar contrast to that, it is actually field walking, which archaeologically is uh, quite fun. And uh, you know, you get some historical finds rather commonly. And this is why I've got a huge stack of clay pipes, as you can see there. I'll um, talk about them in a couple of minutes but uh, for now guys uh, I just have to say that it's absolutely brilliant field walking you just uh, look down see if you can find any um, pieces of pottery archaeological finds bones prehistoric flint tools and so on and so forth so, so things that aren't metal because obviously you need a metal detector for them and it's uh, of easy use with a metal detector to find things that are metal but obviously not clay pipes because they're undetectable by uh, any source of equipment at this moment in time, technologically. But yeah, guys, uh, I believe there was a house there, a ruin of a mansion house, which was um, burnt down, possibly by purposed arson, or um, maybe just it's quite accidental. But um, yeah, it was a mansion house. It was it, f it fell into great disrepair after it was uh, burnt down, and so the o occupants of the house they left. To go uh, to buy a, another house, which was of similar size, obviously maybe slightly larger, slightly smaller. I've not a clue, because I'm going to go into great depth in that. But historically, there's a few 18th, uh, early 19th century buildings in the area and structures, though in fell into disrepair, and uh, some they're in use today as normal houses. But guys, uh, on the field, it's a good. I can't even estimate the. Well, the coverage of the uh, field, say the amount of acres there, but guys, this is what I found. Uh, absolutely loads of um, clay pipes, as you can see there. <sighs> an unreasonable amount, truly, really, because I was only there half an hour with me and my dad, so uh, yeah, we both did it. Uh, loads of an assortment of them, thick and thin. 18th century onwards, possibly. And this rather weird one, it's actually. And then I actually put you to clay pipe because it actually has a hole in it, like so. So I slip this. And this is the one that my dad found, brilliantly. It's amazing this, it's actually almost incomplete. As you can see that it's got the stand on it. It's in brilliant condition. Very fragile though. Because uh, when they snapped, they obviously uh, they were completely useless. So the people who owned them just uh, threw them on the floor and left them to... Well, not decompose, but uh, just stay there and then be ploughed up again. And guys, this is our assortment of pottery and finds, and even some Mesolithic, Neolithic, or possibly even Iron Age flint tools. Well, not Iron Age because they were more civilized and advanced rather than the Mesolithic and Neolithic times or period or era, if you like. Rather large area of Mesolithic and Neolithic period, but yeah. Honestly, guys, uh. The place is actually renowned archaeologically. Uh, it's actually classed as an archaeological site because loads of uh, enthusiastic amateur field walkers and professional field walkers are allowed to do so without permission because it's a public footpath and you can just look down and pick up what you want. But 